I have been driving the We Believe in Colton Wong bus for years. Even I have to say that this year, it's time to put up or shut up. Good morning, Cardinals fans. Welcome back to About Last Night, the show where we talk all about what happened last night. The 2019 Cardinals season started with a moonshot from my guy, Colton Wong, who then followed it up with a second home run of the day in the seventh inning, joining who else but Albert Pujols as the only two Cardinals to ever accomplish that feat on opening day. That's all. That's it. Oh, wait, other things happened too? Okay, fine. The Cardinals kicked off the season by dropping the opening game four runs to five in the afternoon affair at Miller Park. Miles Michaelis got off to a strong start and the Cardinals jumped out to an early lead thanks to a walk by Dexter Fowler and then back-to-back -back home runs by Colton Wong and Harrison Bader, the first back-to-back -back homers on opening day in Cardinals franchise history too. So you know, exactly the part of the lineup that we expected to be the offensive juggernaut. It was awesome. And honestly, that's a big deal. The top of the order guys will hit. There's a track record that says so. The bottom of the lineup clicking early and often though, that is what great teams have. Not just potential depth, but actual legitimate performing depth. I keep saying that this is a big year for Colton Wong, but it's not just because I like the kid and I wanna see him succeed, it's because He's the kind of player that can ignite a lineup by being that little bit of extra. Extra pop, extra energy, extra confidence. There's just something about him that changes the dynamic of the lineup when he's hitting well, and of course when he's flying around and diving all over the infield on defense. Last year I compared him to Javi Baez from the Cubs, and I heard a lot of flack from all of you who couldn't believe that I would compare Colton Wong and Javi Baez, especially Cubs fans. Interestingly enough, they both hit two home runs on opening day. But the point remains, those are two players that are a spark to their team. There's a certain air about them, especially when they're confident, that allows them to do things that no one else on the team can do. And if Colton Wong can translate that offensively as well as defensively, look out. Him getting off to a good start is big, not just because of yesterday, but because it would be a sign that the progress we saw in the second half of last season wasn't just a fluke or a hot streak, but actual improvement in his approach. He was taking better at bats long before he started getting better results, and if that's what created the results, then that can be maintained, and that will be the key. That top of the lineup, though, was admittedly disappointing. Paul Goldschmidt's MVP campaign started with back-to-back -back strikeouts and a conversation with the home plate umpire that looked a little less cordial than the one he evidently had with John Moselak about a possible extension that turned into an actual extension. I cannot get over that. As I mentioned yesterday, Goldie and Matt Carpenter need to be what they usually are right from the start, especially in the division. But Paul DeYoung looked real bad in the three hole and Marcelo Zuna notched the only hit from the one through six hitters on the day. That's not gonna cut it, especially if they wanna compete with the dynamite lineup that the Brewers threw out there. It's a gauntlet. Just ask Miles Michaelis, especially when their starting pitcher even hits a home run. Yeah, not exactly a sparkling start to the season for the now ace, Miles Michaelis. It is though a similar result to his first start last year, also against the Brewers. In fact, his first two starts, both against the Brewers, were nothing to write home about. So let's not ship him back to Japan just yet, okay? But he did struggle with command at times in the game. And for a guy that doesn't necessarily have overpowering stuff, the pinpoint command is his bread, sliced bagel, and butter. Did she really just bread sliced bagel with butter? Stop the madness. So here's what we've learned. The Brewers are still really good. They don't have quite the bullpen depth that they did last year, but yesterday they didn't need it. And the Cardinals, well, They've got some power potential late in that lineup, but they're going to have to get production elsewhere. 
in order to topple the Mighty Brewers. And we also learned that Lorenzo Cain is still a good center fielder, making an incredible play at the wall to steal at least a hit, if not a game-tying home run, from pinch hitter Jose Martinez in the ninth. And that is the story of the Cardinals dropping the series opener in Milwaukee and wasting a two-home run day from Colton Wong. But it wasn't all bad. I mean, it was a two-home run day from Colton Wong. If you want a full recap of this game, make sure you check out birdsontheblack.com where my man Stu will have you totally covered all season long. And if you want to have a cup of coffee with me each morning, hit subscribe and turn on your notifications so you'll see these new videos first thing. Good news is, game two is today, and we don't have to sit on this loss over a weird off day like we normally do. So Jack Flaherty gets his first start in just a few hours, and I'll see you then.